Right, I'm back on. Well, they toxic. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. And they toxic bloody thing. I had these last time and the camera kept cutting out <laughs> and Paul made the excuse because I was doing the VGs one at the time he said it was them angry apples playing up which made me laugh so right anyway let's start that one again <laughs> hi Luke you just missed the fun this is take two now right back to reading off the list all right Charlotte as a lot of people know she works with the company SMKD and she was at the expo. Now while she was at the expo they got on board yet another juice maker which was Truly Vapor. No, Truly Vape. Now she put up a post asking for reviewers so I messaged her and she kindly let me do this review for her and for Truly Vape. So a massive big shout out to Charlotte and to SMKD for letting me do this review and I can say now the packaging, the descriptions of the flavours, I haven't tried them yet but they smell absolutely gorgeous. I've just a second dripped them. Truly Vape are made in Malaysia. They are TPD compliant, I'll get down to the packaging shortly and they come in the little boxes which I'll show you there's a little box mm, on camera and as you push through you agree to the little package pull up the tab and you have your three little bottles on the outside sleeve not on the internal one no warnings on that but on the outside sleeve which holds it quite nicely together You've got all your clear warnings right along the front, down the sides you've got a little bit about them and down the opposite side you've got warnings, description, what's contained in it. These are all 3 milligram juices <laughs> that yellow bag actually belongs to my son so ignore my wash and pile behind me because it is a mess at the moment and I've had some good news we are finally moving we'll have the house and get round to giving us a viewing so anyway going back to the descriptions before I do the vape taste now a lot of you know I am picky about the pomegranate I vape but this one is mixed with passion fruit the description reads a delightful duo of popped pomegranate and sweet passion fruit aromatic flavours from around world class mixologists makes this blend like no other sure to tantalise your taste buds all day long then we have a grape twist a succulent grape with a refreshing spirit of green apple twist a special ingredient adds a mind blowing fusion to this cocktail that sends your taste that sends you to the clouds sorry can't get my words out tonight and then this one I'm saving till last <coughs> melon berry a refreshing mouth watering ripe melon with a sweet strawberry hit a hint of kiwi and a distinctive secret ingredient two words cardium so the melon one now I don't think any one of my admin team are even going to get to try that one because wow it smells lovely so I'm going to do the pom first I've got it all nicely juiced up on my hand this nice fresh cotton a nice fresh battery definitely smell the grapefruit really strong smell that's quite 
quite a sweet grapefruit. Normally I find with grapefruits, oranges, stuff like that, you get that peely effect, but there's no peely effect. <coughs> the pomegranate and the grapefruit just complement each other. It's quite a sweet vape. That's um sort of like really ripe. Not the pomegranate ripe, but the grapefruit ripe. It's, the grapefruit sticks around a lot more. Really just tastes like you're bitten into a chunk of grapefruit. So it leaves the taste on your tongue for ages. Really juicy taste. Again, it's a really smooth vape. Three milligram nicotine. I've got to stop coming out of pomegranate because I'm going to have to change what I don't like. Because that pomegranate from Trudy Vape is a really smooth, crisp, clean taste. I reckon it might be a cool killer because of how sweet tasting it is. But it's well presented. I'll give you a close up on the box. That's the front of the box. You've got your 30, 70, 30 premium liquid mix, that's 70 VG, 30 peach. At the bottom, it gives you your barcode and batch number and expiry date. Flip it over again, and we have all the warnings. And it says three 10 ml bottles made in Malaysia, and a bit about warnings and various different bits of information down the side. Their site is down at the moment, I know, I have checked to see if I could get any other information. They are $14.99 for a box of three little 10 mils, so nice TPD compliant bottles. I do admit, I did have trouble opening the bottles. Let's see if I can focus that camera in a bit more. Yay, there we go. So, the next one, I'm going to try. It's going to be the grape because I want to really save this melon one till last. So again, in the little grape box, it gives you a little bit of detail in the lid. So when you open it, it's well presented. Nice little shiny bottles actually. All of them seem to have a little glossy shine. This one's got like a rose gold effect to the front of the label but all the writing on the bottle all the writing's nice clean and crisp um mom me darren kevin john there's six of us all together sweet so this one is the Grape Twist. And I've got this on my Endless Clean. Now I always have problems getting this bloody cap on. So yeah, Kevin will get to try these when he comes down. Mum will probably try them on the weekend when she pops over, if not beforehand. And Darren and Kevin will probably try them later on tonight because Terry's trying to shut the kids up for me in the background. And Darren's gone on a little walk tonight. So this one is Great Twist. Now, I will say, I've not found a grape one I like. I have tried the Grape Slurp and didn't really find that one. Okay, hon, thank you for that. I'm sure they'll appreciate that. Uh, Leanne and John are partners, the same as Darren and me. Terry's living at my address and Kevin lives up in London. And Kevin's coming down to mine <coughs> in the October for the expo. <coughs> mm. 
I can get Terry to say hi. Get him to try them on the camera. Come here, Kess. One second, my book. My shoes are sleeping more. Okay. Well. Because they're arguing for you. Well, while I make here. this grape a minute to see if I can really bring out the taste, I'll give Terry the pom pomegranate and passion. Crouch down so they can see you. Yeah, here's Hi. Mr. Bum. <laughs> this is Terry Charlotte. Mm. That's the pom passion. What do you think? He's got a bit of a sweet tooth as well, so. Mm, I like that one. That one's really nice. Mmm. Mmm, that is very nice. You didn't hit the button. <laughs> I did eat it tonight. Though. You half hit it. <laughs> Charlotte says hi. Hi. Mm. Oh yeah, I do like that one. That was okay. really nice. So verdict so far: mm. two admin for the Pom Passion. We do like mm. that one. I wouldn't say the Pom Passion for me would be a all day vape. Excuse me. Oh, can you add my... No, I'll do it. See, one sec. Oh. The funny thing is, it's the little bone inside his hand. Oh. And they've done that to him. Which is quite funny. There's three little bones in your hand, just below your finger bones. And it's the one on his little finger that he's fractured. Okay. Back to the grape twist. So, I haven't yet got the green apple. Okay, I did that time. After I had a drink. If you have a drink, you get more of the green apple. Oh, yeah, drink. That grape reminds me of um, the dark grapes, like they've illustrated on the little picture. really fresh grapes like you've just pulled them off the bush to taste them to see if they're ripe and I don't know if anyone's tried them but you know the um, fun size mini green apples that you pass the kids um, post it up on the group not in the chat please Okay, but yes, if they are doing that, yes, because I don't want anyone to be ripped off. So put up that I've approved it and that will go up. Now for a great one, there's no weird aftertaste. Really smooth yet again. But the apple is just on the exhale. It, it, it is all like heaven. It's like I've sat here and I've got a slice of a fun size apple and I've mixed it in and mushed it in with a bowl full of grapes and it's all just popping around in my mouth and you get the juice from the grapes that smother your tongue with the refreshing sweetness of the apple to follow. Yeah, I'll test try that one. Grape twist. Grape twist. You know what that's like? If you get a bottle of that, um, the KI Black Grape. Mmm. It's that in a grape juice. I was thinking of that, but it hasn't got the fizz though. It's, 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 it's the, the still, still version. version. <laughs> We're finishing each other's sentences. But that's exactly what I'm getting off every mm. on that. 
Well, if it wasn't for the fact that Ethan's 12 and he doesn't vape, he'd be able to pinpoint that taste if it was KA. <laughs> well, I'm telling you I can do it because I love that, I love that KA. So there we go. The grape twist is like the dark fruit from the KA drink, just without the fizzy aftertaste. Buy a bottle of KA black grape. But the still that. the version, not the fizzy, the still. Ignore the fizz. Imagine if it was a still drink. That's exactly what you're getting when you're vaping. The uh, the grape twist on this, it's really, really awesome. Really nice. I'll tell you what, with the smell of this watermelon, I don't think anyone's gonna get a taste of that because it smells so juicy. It smells like just sliced open a nice watermelon. So, without further ado, I've got on my ENT the melon berry. Now anyone who is in my group and knows me well will know I am a big, big fan of watermelons. So I have water melon berry <laughs> on my ENT. So that's Wow. You know what? That's my all day vape. I really like that one. You're not a fan of watermelon, but I bet you like this one. I'm not a fan of watermelon at all. In fact, I detest watermelon in a vape. You're going to like this one because Sorry. just as you get the watermelon sweep over your tongue with mm -hmm. all the juices, the sweet strawberry hits in. Oh, I know. Okay. Now, I'm a fan of strawberry, but I'm not a fan of watermelon. Now, no. there is summer in it, and I'm going to try and figure that out. That's nice. That might take me a week or so to figure it out, but I'll figure out that secret ingredient they've got in there. We've got three bottles. Mm. <laughs> mm. Okay, there's two secret. Mm. The what? You know when you pick up a ripe watermelon from the shop and you slice it in half, and the first thing you do is you pick up that big slice of watermelon, stick <coughs> your face into it, and the juice goes everywhere. It's got that effect as soon as it hits your tongue, where the juice is just spread throughout your mouth and just as you think you're losing the watermelon the sweet strawberry just comes in sweeps over your tongue just like the strawberries when you go to the base of the punnet to get the really juicy ones because you know they're just slightly more ripe than the top ones but there's no extra sweetener in there oh I'm getting the kiwi now <coughs> Yeah, might be cactus, you know, because I've had some cactus vapes before. When I lick my lips, though, there might be a hint of mint because I'm getting a tingling sensation as if I've had a mint vape. What do you think of that one? Considering you don't like watermelon, this would be a big thing. What do you think of that one? I do actually like that one. Now, Charlotte, he detests watermelon. <laughs> It's quite funny. The watermelon doesn't linger in your mouth. You get the watermelon on the intake, but on the outtake, you get the smooth, sweet berries coming across. And do you know what? I actually do like that one. I can't stand watermelon, but that one is really nice. Right, I'm going to ask you a question now. Which is your favourite? If you had to pick one mm -hmm. and name it as your all time favourite. Yeah. Right, the melon berry, yeah. the great twist. Yeah. Or the pom passion, which would you go for as an all day vape? The grape twist. The grape twist. The grape twist for me. Okay, so there you go, Charlotte. <coughs> oh, I love blueberry. There's no blueberry in it. I can't taste blueberry. I'm a sod for blueberry. I could pick out blueberry a mile off. Yeah, believe me, she can. <laughs> Anything blueberry, it's Chris's. Yeah. Straight away. I love Muffins, my blueberry. Pancakes, anything blueberry, it's Chris's. And banana and watermelon and berries. The only ones I'm really picking about is pomegranates and limes. 
Now the funny thing is with lime, I don't like lime. I have recently found a few vapes that I like with lime in, but it's a sweet lime. But I could gladly say the best one, my all day vape out of these three, coming in first place would be the melon berry. Second place would be the pom passion with a close in second place being the great twist I don't think any one of these could be in third place they are so smooth to vape and I've hit these a few times as a lot of you have seen without having a drink and I've not got the head rush where you get the, the over steeped or anything so they're perfectly steeped they're well presented with all the different warnings and I'm going to say a big massive thank you to Charlotte for letting me do this review because I've enjoyed it and I found a new melon vape that I like that I can't actually recreate because I've got to figure out that other little ingredient because I'm not sure which mint they've used but there was a tingle at the very end that you get when you lick your lips so has anyone got any questions <laughs> yes, DJ, I know. I made that cactus and cucumber one quite a lot. Terry doesn't like that one. <laughs> but... Ooh, yes, um, that would be nice. So, yeah, if you want to look at the different colours they've got on the bottles, if I just take one out of each one, they all sort of look like goldy um, metallic shine, which is quite a nice little touch because I've seen them the first time I've seen a metallic label. Now, let's get one out of each box. Right, you've got. The rose, the rose purpley gold for the grape. We've got the melon berry, which is sort of a white gold metallic. Can you see that? The light cups it. There we go. And then on the palm berry, they've got pure gold. Yeah. Again, the price is fourteen ninety nine for thirty mil. So you get three of these little boxes, three of these little bottles, and the child safety on these is pretty good because I struggle to open them, <laughs> which is quite funny because Terry found it amusing. And so um, yeah, well presented in their little boxes. No room to rattle about because if I put my hand there, barely any movement. A 70-30 mix, which is my, my standard mix tends to be, unless I'm going for clouds, which is when I've been hitting my bee juice. You've got, on the bottom, you've got the batch number, the expiry date, and they've even put the code in that it's been tested by. So, you know, that batch code has gone through the TPD and it's been regulated. So that's a nice little touch. Not many places do do that code. I know a lot do. But some of them recently, they missed that code off. But the writing, even on the side of the box, here, let's go. It's got a use by date by the 1st of the 4th, 2018. I don't know if you can see that. Look at the focus. So it's all nine, nice, clean, crisp writing, which makes it great. I will be popping over and there's a little hint if anyone is going to expo right we're going to be getting a little collection going just for the soldiers because I like frontline juices as a lot of people know and I spoke to the people who do the expo now they have given me permission well I say given me permission I asked for permission for Terry to go in full drag. So if you find us, right, 
just pass a small donation to Terry because it's all going to go to the frontline guys to pass it on to all the different charities they post with and it's going to a good cause we're just going for a laugh Terry's going for the fun of it so let's see who can find us Terry's going to be in full drag and I won't be behaving myself so be pre-warned yes he's going to be a naughty boy but I have told him to keep it clean <laughs> yeah right that would be lovely Charlotte and we can talk about some other things as well if you like um, we could have you on board as an approved vendor if you like Charlotte if that's something you'd be interested in <clears throat> but yeah just a quick rundown Truly Vape joined SMKD in the May Expo so really nice juices and if you want an all day vape for the summer definitely hit up Charlotte and she will sort you out with some cracking juice they are all smooth and very very mouth watering I and, I'm, that. and I'm going to enjoy these so big big thank you Charlotte for letting me do this and I look forward to doing some more reviews soon I will say if anyone wants me to do reviews in the next week is going to be the last a uh, few reviews I'm going to be doing because obviously where we're moving house there's going to be the upheaval of moving and the Wi-Fi shortage so Kevin and John, Leanne and Terry will be doing any reviews or it's live nice. chats while we're busy moving and not forgetting my uh, mum she'll keep you all live and yeah. up to date with what what's happening and as soon as we're back up and going we will do a live feed from our new place and we will inform everyone so yeah mum's more than likely going to end up babysitting the kids a lot for us in the process of this move it's just all waiting on the housing now to give us our date and the keys so thank you Charlotte again and say thank you to the guys at SMKD for letting me do this the yellow bag's my son's bag, DJ. It's an Angry Birds bag. Yes, I'll send the list over for you, hun. Mum lives close to me. And I'll get her to try these and she can pick out her favourite. Terry, can you pass me the Angry Bird bag, will you please? <sighs> See, it's the Babby's bag. He used it for school and it's covered in mud because he went on a school trip the other day. He loves the bloody thing. But it's quite hard wearing. It's only wore a bit of the colour off at the bottom. Nice oh, solid bottom to that. You Mackie bugger, you've still got your lunchbox in here from the other day. No, that's my lunchbox. See, how lazy is that? He went on a trip yesterday and he's left the stuff all in the box. <laughs> The price of the juices again, just for anyone who has recently joined in or missed it, was $14.99. Yes, the strap does extend. It actually goes down to my knee at full extension. I know because I've had to carry it before. And I'm five foot eight. So, is there any more questions about the juice? before I disappear. Nice one DJ. And if there's no questions I will jump off and finish enjoying this melon berry because I don't think it's going to last me that long somehow. And then I'm going to have to start on the other two. I will have to save a bottle for mum and Darren to try later. Mm. Kevin, which one did you want to try? Best review on a bag I've ever seen. Oh my God, you made me want one. <laughs> I want a black guy. Charlotte, if you're still with us, Terry said he likes the grape twist. Yeah, I want a grape one. No, no worries. 
<laughs> well, I think I'm going to be nice. All I'm going to do is I'm going to pass Terry the Great Box right now because he's injured. So he doesn't have to wait. Here. Mine. <laughs> That's my <my> precious. <laughs> Terry, Charlotte's going to send you one, so that was mine. I'm having a bottle and I'll give you a bottle out of mine. Okay. There you go, Charlotte. We're having a bottle swap. He's having a bottle now and a bottle later. Thank you, baby. So, all good fun at the moment. <coughs> <laughs> right. Do you want to tell the members of the group and everyone, how you actually become to be so injured? I was running for a bus and I tripped over. Come into the shop. Yes, I'll miss the bump. Yeah, I was actually running for a bus and I sort of tripped um, over. No, DJ, I've had the slurp bottles which are pretty much exactly the same shape. Right? Now, they was a bit tough, but these are quite easy to squeeze. Yeah, I will get the melon out and show you because I've got to redrip that. Oh, there it is. The only thing I found hard on these was to break the seal. But that's a good thing because it means kids can't get into them. So let's go close into the camera. Small squeeze, two fingers, index finger and a thumb. Very easy. Not easy, easy like the cloudy bottles, which, funny enough, I have a few of them on my desk. There we go. It's not as easy as these bottles, because they're really squishy. But it's in between the little hard bottles and the squishy ones, so you, you can get a nice bit of pressure on them without over-squeezing, like on some of the bottles that I've had in the past before. Charlotte, have you ever seen the Lego movie? Look at that look. I'm like a bloody Lego man. <laughs> he cried like a baby when they had to bend his hand because he kept moving it. Well, what do you expect? That woman weren't a nurse. He kept his hand like that, yeah. all nice and straight, and she bent it like that, and then she bent it like that. <laughs> yeah, it hurt. <laughs> he was right screaming. It's quite funny. Right then, my lovelies, I will speak to you soon, and we will say good night. Good night from me. Good night from me. Good night all. And thanks again, Charlotte. We love doing this review. And I can't wait for my grape juice. Thank you, honey. <laughs> and I'll get all my admin team to message me which, which ones they would like to do <coughs> and forward it on.